What's going on? <laughs> What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Cube Draft here on the Legacy Channel. That's not what it is. Anyway, today we're doing another stipulation draft by Unease Joker. The stipulation is kill all the things. We take removal over everything except for mana and fixing. Bonus for the Wasteland combo, but not needed like Wasteland Crucible Worlds. Is there any removal in this pack? There's a boat. That shoots something. I don't know if that's removal, though. I would take this because it just makes it easier to play things. We can splash our things. Oh, cast out is removal. Never mind. You're right. Oh, I don't know why I didn't. I that. didn't either. I, for some reason, I didn't see it. All right, we'll take that. Oh, we're passing Crater Hoof and a Primeval Titan. All right, so what else do we have here? Chain Lightning's removal. Yeah, but not strictly. Okay, if that's going to be... Okay, that's not... That's, that's going to be difficult if that's your... Uh, Although we can take fixing here. Because that, that, that literally shuts off all red removal. Well, we can take fixing here, and I feel like we're going to end up in black-white. I agree with you. So, Norn is removal, that's true. I'm going to take the Godless Shrine. And if the Chain Lightning on the Norn wheel is great. The system could have waited. You don't casually pass back one, pick one crates. I agree with you. What did you say? Uh, I hope the Elish Norn or the Chain Lightning tables. Oh, the Elish Norn's never coming back. You're never going to see no, this again. probably not. Should we just take it because it's that good? I think so. I think it's okay. I think it's good enough. And we can just take this Isolated Chapel or we can take Yeehaw Mouth. All's Dust is also removal. Um, I would rather not have things that get rid of our... We're going to play Cast Out and then we're going to All's Dust and then yeah, get the guy a, back. Yeah, that's like, a fair it, point. Actually. That's the reason I don't like All's Dust. They're probably going to pick up more Cast Out effects too, I imagine. So. Well, in white... I mean, unexpectedly absent, but I think both of these are better than unexpectedly absent, so. I do like Hee Haw Mouth, but he is triple black. I don't care. You should. Why? Because it's hard to cast. You ever cast this guy before? He's won the game. He can win the Plus, game. Plus, there was so. an Exhum in, like, one of those first packs, so. There was an Exhum. There was. Hold the fixing wheels? I doubt it will, I doubt it will but. Yeah, I doubt it will. Right. Mm. I take Hee Haw if we're depending on being a dupe pin or not. Wrath of God is removal. Oh, Necrotal is removal too. Man. Assassin's Trophy is also removal. <laughs> well, I mean, like, we, if we can pay, take removal in our colors, I'd rather do that. Right. Um. I kind of like Wrath. I like it better than Necrotal, I'll tell you that. I do too. I also think there's been so many more games where I'm like, I wish I had a Wrath here. Ooh, Buried Alive. Mm. Ball Wrath for Necrotals? I, I, knew, I knew you meant the generic Necrotals, so it's kind of funny that Necrotal just showed up on the next pack. Like, I guess we could take Buried Alive. I mean, it's real good with these two, right? right. Like, they already have Especially two. Especially the Exhum wheels. Marshall Coup is removal. Yep. And the only fixing really is Verdant Catacomb, which, which is pretty good. I mean, it's pretty good, but it depends on what we, what other, what, other, what duels we get. Marshall Coup well, is also kind of a blowout. Marshall Coup is kind of toxic. Deluge is a removal. Man, we could just we could just have board wipes for days. I was gonna add one. I'll pick per pack, but I forgot to add it. If you want to go for what is what do you mean? Deluge is great. Yeah, I think it's Deluge here. Banishing Light. Murderous Cut. Murderous Cut's better than Banishing Light, I think. Yeah, I agree with that. God, we're just going to kill everything. Look, the boat came back. Do we want the boat? I think it's fine. The Dark Ritual is interesting. Liliana's pretty good. <laughs> Elspeth's pretty good. Yeah, I'd take Elspeth. Mirror Battlesphere is pretty good, though. We got like reanimation going on here. Yeah, but we don't have reanimate yet. And I think Battle Ball. Like, if they. I don't know. He doesn't close the game up fast enough, in my opinion. Hey, the unexpected lapsing came back. Yep. Oh, a trophy came back, too. Wow. All right. Verdant Catacombs, maybe? Eh? Huh? Doubts. say doubts yeah that would be sick though a johnny he has a removal on him 
I wouldn't mind being Abzan. It's pronounced Obzone. Obzones and Bononos. Get in the zone. The ob Obzone. A pair you don't need to follow. Oh, like so, yeah, like a one out. And Kurt's always trying to order his food. What's he saying? Since Soul Mike isn't here, you want me to order you guys? <laughs> because Mike's not here? Or, or Rob's not here? That's an interesting reason. I like Elspeth and Johnny here. I, I feel like we can play Planeswalkers and then just wipe the board with Wrath of God, Toxic Deluge, Marshall Coup. I like the way they stick. Can we say that discard spells count as removal just because they fit the theme? Um, maybe. Let me take Wayfinder here. <clears throat> you got it. Umazawa's Jitte is definitely removal. It's pretty good. We don't have a lot of creatures, though. We have two creatures currently. Uh, we have Elspeth, which makes creatures, brah. Okay, we have three creatures. We have Marshall Koo, which makes creatures, brah. Okay, we have four creatures. Okay. <laughs> Still pretty low. Nailed it. Man, neither the Isolated Chapel nor the Godless Shrine came back. Amps, Amp Phil Bustin. <laughs> I'm about to bust. I wonder if I can use Bustin' Makes Me Feel Good on the soundboard without getting demonetized. Bustin' Makes Me Feel Good! Because that would be a great soundbite. Um, this might be a good land tax deck. Pack right is opponent removal. Good lord. Yeah, pack right uh, this is, is going to come back. I'm not going to prioritize a land tax here when it comes right back. We can also take Basalt Monolith. Let's just play any of these earlier. Yeah. I think I like Jitte here. Like, if we end up making tokens, like, I think Jitte is just really strong, and it, it does have negative yeah, one, negative one on it. it's strong enough to pick up early. Also, if we get a Stoneforge, it lets us play it pretty easily, so. Animate dead. Ulamog's removal. So is a Braid and Anger of the Gods and all that nonsense. I don't think we want to be red, though. I don't think so either, right? I, like, we're already, we're already playing two green spells that are removal, so. I think we want to make sure we have a playable deck, at least. <laughs> Chainer's Edict and Varaska's Contempt. Ooh. Um, hmm. I might like Chainer's just because we have so many Wraths and stuff. Like, do we really want for another four mana removal? Well, my only concern is that, like, it does get rid of Planeswalkers. But I guess Assassin's Trophy and Cast Out do as well. Yeah, actually, yeah, I think Chainer's could be good. necessarily committed to green yet. So maybe we do take the Contempt in case we're not green. And we have an after Planeswalkers. No, we still have Cast Out. Yeah, okay. All right. I bet this even comes back. I wouldn't be surprised. Acerup, hey, here's some bits for the awesome evening stream. Thanks so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. Oh, re what's that? A reanimate? That's what we want. Huh. Plus, well, there's also no removal in this pack. Oh, there's face fetters. Dang it. Got him. But I mean, but we're reanimating something that is removal, right? Like we want to be able to get these guys back so that we can remove things. I think that's fair. Here's a go for the throat. Solid. I like Sir after the scales a lot. Also, blooming marsh. Maybe we just want to take the blooming marsh. If we're gonna play green, we do. I don't think we have to play green though. But I don't think I have a reason not to though. Yeah. Let's take it. Marsh flats. That's really good. Marsh flatty boys. That was a, a snap off that. Oh. See, here we go. That's removal. That's a good one. Yeah, that's pretty good. Oh, shambling vent? Alright, now it's coming together. Oh, stirring wildwood? Also the land tax. Is land tax good enough? I never. I don't know. know, man. Like it's such a weird card. Like it's obviously really good on turn one, but I feel like it's really bad after. Every time that. I watch your videos, you always say you don't have enough removal. At least this way, you have enough removal. <laughs> Touche. That was a pack rat. I mean, I would probably just take Stirring Wildwood to be honest. All right, yeah. The green white effects is probably better. Hmm. Bestie boy. Oh, pack rat would have been good because we can discard these though. Oh, that would have been really good. Ooh didn't think of that yeah it just i just hit me after i was like i was so sometimes i get um you got a birdie alive though i get a little fixing blinded because i'm like oh i need to, i need the fixing real bad because so many times people have convinced me to take fixing over the cards that i want uh arid mesa seems good does it get anything not yet but it gets a planes and has an upside i guess nothing really else in the pack either mm. i don't like that sword at all well, no one does, but it actually it's pretty decent against white and black decks. Yeah. I'd still rather just take the Kalidus. I think that guy's pretty good. Especially with Wrath and Marshaku, I guess. 
Yeah, that's fine. We'll just play click. Oh, Ooh, that's nice. That's All right. Oh, I was really hoping the Seraph came back. I don't consider Parallax Wave removal. I think it's more like temporary removal. Wall of Omens is decent. Actually, this is nice because we have like Wrath of God. So Wall of Omens is nice to force them to commit more cards to the board. Yeah, I feel like we got the late game covered. Something like Wall of Omens is actually a really nice pickup for us. Let's see. Thank you. Shooter McGavin, thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it, Corey. Welcome, welcome. What's going on, my dude? Anguish to unmaking is removal. You eat pieces of shit for breakfast. Anguish to unmaking is probably the pick here, I think. I eat pieces like you. I eat, I eat pieces, pieces like you. I eat pieces of shit like you for breakfast. You eat shit for breakfast? I I was talking to Mike earlier, and I was like, hey, man, did you see that meme I posted online? And his response was, I don't. And then he stopped talking. <laughs> And I was like, Shut did you say I don't and then not say anything else? And he was like, yeah, I don't know why I answered that way. <laughs> I just lost it, dude. I was like, that was amazing. I feel like you're programming. Like, Shut I feel like the, I feel like you had a, a real life blue screen of death. Remember that time you didn't take Spite Mare? Still mad. Remember that time you didn't take Spite Mare? Still mad. Okay, so we got Hissing Quagmire. That gives us all three on color man lands, creature lands. Yep. Maybe Sun Tide and Airworm Coil Wheel or Languish or something. Hold on. You got 30 seconds. We good. <sighs> I think it's definitely Quagmire. Yeah, I, I, I think so too. I want to make sure we have enough lands. I hope that we can get a, uh, a Marsh Flats slash Arid Mesa land that mm. we can... Magister of Earth is always gas. I'm always impressed with this card every time yeah, I've played it. Great. Also, Liliana, though. Ooh, Liliana might be better. Really? I think Liliana's better, yeah. yeah. I guess we have enough Wrath effects. And enough six drops, I think, as well. That's true, yeah. Hmm. Stomping Ground is interesting because we can get it with Arid Mesa, which makes this a green-white fetch land. That's true. There's also an Una's Prowler. Which lets us discard. Which is nice for reanimate. We only have one reanimate, though. No, we have animate dead. Yeah, we have animate dead and reanimate. That's probably good enough. The cool whip <laughs> of Erebos. We could also just get him with mana tithe. Mm, I'd rather have a way to discard things. All right, I'll take this guy. Hmm. Terminus. I like the chromatic lantern here. Yeah, that is pretty good fixing. Also, I'd probably take Beast of the Night over Terminus if I had to. Yeah, we do have a lot of rats. Yeah, let's take the Chromatic Lantern. Oh, Bayou, Bayou is great. Yeah, that's really good. Also, Iona, though. Everyone always says out. No one's playing like... I feel like she's really... Mm, I don't know. She's either a blowout or she's just kind of like meh. She'll, but she's a 7-7 seven, seven flyer. Shooter McGavin's creepy brother Hooters here have an unsettling stream. <laughs> oh, Hooters McGavin. Thanks so much, buddy. Hooters McGavin. You feel like the all... That might... Can that wheel? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Probably not. Colin, I assume you meant TCG player because I've only written one article for SCG and it was my Pro Tour Top 8 tournament report. But you can find my articles on CoolStuffInc.com if you'd like. One just went up two days ago. Or yesterday, rather. Not even two days ago. So there's an oust. I think I like Avis in here. <clears throat> yeah, it's a pretty good threat. Avison consistently is just, just a blowout for me. Every time someone has Avison against me, I just get utterly destroyed. Day of Judgment. Easy, easy game, easy life. Uh, there's an Inquis Inquisition. Yes. I actually don't li I don't mind Inquisition in the main deck in this format because they always have something. Is the resto good against anything? It's good with a Massacre Worm. I think that's probably it, though. It's a solid threat. Yeah, but if I'm just playing a 3-4 flyer for 4, I'm not super excited about it. Ooh. Inquisition is probably good enough. I think Inquisition's good. Conclave Tribunal and Sun Titan. It's got to be Conclave Tribunal, right? I think Sun Titan has a lot of nice hits in this deck. That we have Liliana, 
Uh, we have Wall of Omens. Lantern if it dies. Jitte if it dies. Anime Dead is pretty sick. That's pretty good, yeah. As a fake person myself, I hate it when it switches my new fake name and my old fake name on fake... Yeah, I was like, I think you meant to write Hooters McGavin up there, but you did not. Gotta take their rule, though, I think. Oh, the Magister came back? Nice. Yes. Yeah, I'm not playing any of this. It doesn't matter. Well, now I might. No. Get out of here. Why is Ranger of Eos in this queue? does not belong there's like no one drops you can get there's, there's not that many come on and it's not that impressive to get one drops how did you start writing for cool stuff i emailed them and i was like hey i'd like to uh, start writing again and evan was like cool we'd love to have you and i was like cool all right we need five cuts that's a yikes from me dog well, Dronic can go. She was the last pick. I think we only need one of these, and I think Tribunal's worse. Sure. So, as far as removal goes... Yeah, let's see how much removal we have here. How many Wraths do we have? <laughs> A lot. This is Wrath-esque. Things that wipe the board will go here. Things that just remove one thing go here. God, it just keeps going. <laughs> um, so we definitely don't cut creatures. <laughs> yes, with with eight creatures, I think we're uh, um, we're gonna keep all those. But I think Jit, as good as Jit is, I mean, we only have eight creatures. I agree with you. I was thinking that. So what else? Say wood elves? No, man, we're not playing wood elves. Is Inquisition good enough? Do less than three things matter that much? It's nice because if you reanimate something like a Lechnorn and they have, like, a way to kill it, usually you can get rid of it. That's true. Or if you put something in the graveyard, you don't want them to have, like, a reanimate. Uh, we can, we can board it in, though. No, I actually kind of like it in the main. Um, oh. Now he likes it. I think Edict is our weakest removal. I agree with that. Even if we cut one more, we still have 12? <laughs> I think we can probably cut one of these sweepers. I think it's probably Toxic Deluge. Mm, Deluge or, is... I think Deluge is actually better than Wrath. But the life, man. I think they're both very good. Maybe it's Marshall Coup? I think Marshall Coup's good, too. Yeah, but it's just a really expensive Wrath, right? But it makes threats. I don't know if that matters. Making or so making does cost three life to cast, but it does hit anything. It hits anything. 41 cards it is. Yeah, let's just do 41. Not that one. <laughs> well, dang. We also have Arid Mesa. We could actually splash the Angrath. We got a red and a red, and it's three sources yeah, of red. Yeah, what would you cut for it? Four with the... We can actually cut Chromatic Lantern. Yeah, our mana actually looks pretty good. I don't necessarily need it. Yeah, I think that's fine. It only ramps us to five, which isn't super impressive. Uh, all right, so four, five, six, seven white sources. I'm going to go up to nine here. I don't actually think we need a white. We have one, or, or green rather. We have one, two, three, four, five, six sources of green, and we have three green cards. I think that's more than fine. Sure. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Nope, we can cut two here, and we can probably add one green back. Now we have 17 lands. Seems good. So I think this is 10 white, right? Um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 white, 10 black. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Hmm. 9, 9. 9, 9, 6, right? I think that's fine. I'm okay with it. This is an interesting deck. You're an interesting deck. Got him. What do you got to Johnny do again? Uh, plus one, plus two, reveal the top three cards of your library, put all non-land permanents in your hand. Negative two, exile a creature, and negative nine, put five counters on each creature and each and five loyalty on each other planeswalker you control. Pretty decent. I'm going to keep this hand, even though it has two six drops in it. And a seven drop, essentially. Can't stop farting again. Good times, good times. 
Have you faced off Can't Stop Farting before? I don't think so. It's a great name either way. That was a good draw. He likes it. How about a swamp into a Liliana? I think that'd be a good a good sequence there. I'd also take like a bayou. That's not what we're looking for. I think drawing one for us is fine. You say that now. What up, Mike? What up, Chris? My man. Yes. <laughs> yes. So you're saying I'm not fired? Yes. It's a good show. If only the wait wasn't so long. Uh, wait can't be long. It can only be heavy. Oh my god! What a dummy! What up, pernicious dude? How you doing? Yeah, how's your? How you doing? Four eyes. Oh wow, they're just gonna kill that. That's pretty rude. Did we give them a discard outlet? No, I guess not. Cause I'm they... my legs at a two right now, which is pretty good. What's in the graveyard? Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> that's probably worth it, right? Yes, that's 100% worth it. They take five and then they have to deal with a... Because uh... I feel like they're also trying to do that. Oh, when I get old and I'm losing my It's also head. like a 6-6, six, six, right? It's a 4-5. Well, it's a 5-5, five, five, so now it's a 4-5. Oh, yeah, because animate dead's neg one thing. Weird neg one thing. You got it. Seraph time. It's a seraph. I don't know what you just did there. Don't worry about it. I am worried about it. Show me what you've got. Oh, God. Languish, Nahiri, Ulamog, Dragon Lord Atarka. Well, they can't cast any of that, right? I guess not. I guess they can cast Languish, but that's a one for one, which is fine. And then we still get two one ones out of it, so sure. I know they're like, do I Languish here? Maybe. We can also Quag them. Quag them and slag them. That's, so that's their turn. Say. That is a really not great turn for them. It's not good. Oh, and they're pumping us. They're totally tapped out. Oh, that's good. Yeah, let's do that. I'm doing it. Get aggro. Get in there. Seven. Now it's a one turn clock by itself. Even without Elspeth. Even if they hit a land and then they pump the... Uh-oh. Oh, that's an Ahiri. They're going to exile our thing. We should have given Vigilance now. I feel bad. You can't give Vigilance black, though, right? No, we should have... Yeah, yeah, we should have tapped better. Oh, they just conceded. Interesting. Oh, uh, they go to three, and then they play Nahiri, and then they don't have anything else to do, so we can actually pump this and... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so they're they're yeah that game's yeah. just over. Well, that went well. Oh, uh, I kind of want Edict against them because they're going to reanimate some big dumb yeah, idiots. Edict's really good against reanimates. Take Marshall Koo out. I agree. Sounds Because it's like a thousand mana. Indeed. Hmm. I think that's probably everything. Yep. Seems good. Um, I actually think Deluge is probably... Or Day of Judgment is probably better than Deluge here. Why? Because I want to oh, be able to kill like 8-8 so yeah. Dragon Lord of Tarka without paying a thousand mana. Yeah, that's a good point, actually. I'll Wing keep. has a combo in it. I'll keep. Oh, I see. Oh, my God. I hope we can reanimate before you can. Woodfall and Aleshnorn. Oh, Lord. Oh, oh wait. We can just... Woodfall, baby. But we can, we can steal whatever they're trying to reanimate with. And then... Oh, God. And then do ours, yeah. Oh, goodness. The full promise seems insane here. And the unfortunate part is if they kill it, we get they get it back. Oh, that's true. Yeah, that's a little mm. scary. Yeah, let's just see what they're working with. Lands? Literal nothing. Okay. <laughs> Fascinating. Have right, I tested all the new mulligan rule? No, I have not. Not even a little bit. I have not played a single match of modern since the Legacy Cube started. Hmm. 
Do we go for it? Why well, wouldn't? I mean, I'd rather just get a Leshnorn, right? Actually, killing a land is pretty strong, though. Yeah, but then if they Doomblade, they kill back, and it's really bad. We have Wrath. Yeah, I guess that's true. <laughs> you want my animate dead? Okay. So we go Swamp. No, just Dragon Skull Summit, sure. This is a pretty quick clock. Yeah, it's not bad. And we're just hoping they don't hit, like, Doomblade. Okay, that's fine. Well, Garden Hellkite and a Swamp. So we know you have at least the planes in hand for all the good it does. I think we should have hold on to the Wildwood, actually. Yeah. Oh, well. Not that we really need green, so. We have seven mana in hand, so I'm not sure if I even want to bury it alive, because we just cast whatever we draw eventually. Yeah, I don't think we need to. I'm going to put crappy creatures in my graveyard. Like, cards I don't want to draw. Small moments. No, it draws a card. Una's Prowler. <laughs> it's pretty much it, I think. Yeah, well, I mean, Wall of Women draws a card, so it's not the worst draw. Right. I mean, we're buried alive, but... I mean, also, if we hit if we hit Reanimate, we can actually get Bogart and Hellcat or Elishnorn from them, so I don't really need to do that. Yeah. Would you lock the door? Man, Reanimating stuff is my favorite thing in Magic. Really? Yeah. I always get worried because I'm like, it's going to be too sensitive. They're just going to kill it. Yep, they got it. Scary times. Goodbye, Stern Wildwood. Hmm. Hmm. Will you still feed me? When I'm 64. Burp, burp. Solid draw. That's the trader of get, you know. I only need one more land to play it. It's true. It's true. You gonna kill this guy, Yoti? Maybe this is just the best deck to draft because, like, everything involves oh, creatures in this format. Mudge, make mudge. Oh, that's annoying. I didn't think it would fall Primus back. It just kills our thing. Have you ever killed a thing before? It's very good. All right, removal spell, because we have all removal in our deck. Let's go. Gross. Removal spell, one time. It's not it. And we're dead. Yep. Wow. All right. Let me guess. That would have been good. I think we still would have been dead. Still would have been dead. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, David, it is worth it. We would pay six there, but. What about Tribunal? <sighs> they only have Woodfall Promise. Didn't they have something else? Thank you! To get rid of that? No, they're red black. What are they going to do against the Chamans? Nothing. That's some nice Beatles cover you got going there. Shadows, what's going on, buddy? What's going on, my dude? I think we can cut. Maskerman, probably. Yeah. He ain't doing anybody anybody, anybody a favorite. I'm going cut a Leshnorn, too, actually. Um, I mean... Do we need to, though? Just bring the Tribunal? That's our 40... Tribunal? Tri I mean, we can bring in these two. I cut the Elishorn. How do we win, though? I don't know, man. I am worried about... Oh, yeah, I'm kind of... Uh... Is Liliana good? I oh, think these creatures back, right? Yeah, Liliana's always good. Okay. Um...
I'm too much Prowler. I mean, I'm just not impressed with it. So yeah, they're going to cast stuff. I don't want them to have a discard outlet as well with Una's Prowler, so. Yeah, that's that's actually a really good point. I didn't think of that. I forgot your opponent could do it, too. Yikes. Uh, it's pretty rough without a swamp. Otherwise, it's pretty solid, but this is way better. Yeah, this is good. Shut up and we take my money. have no action until turn four, but... Hot Josh, here's five bucks. <laughs> Sounds good, buddy. Thank you so much. You guys are great. You guys are good people. Oh, it always... Yeah, let's get rid of this one. It always waits for me, but it doesn't, like, prompt you. Yeah, I guess we could have cut Barry alive in this matchup, actually. Oh, well. Yeah, unexpected absent. Not unexpectedly bad against them. Whatever that means. Oh, nice one. The problem is they have, like, Woodfall Primus and Bogart and Hellkite, so even if you tuck their guy, a lot of times the damage is already done. True. Where'd you get five bucks? I want five bucks. Well, that's that's gonna be a good one eventually. I don't think I want to attack with Shambling Men here. Well, they have Doom Blade, which doesn't do anything. So yeah, I'm gonna get in there. I'm gonna shamble right on over your face. Plus we have plenty of lands. Plus we don't have any instants, so it's not like we're gonna be using our mana for anything. Also, if they want to attack us with their main land, we totally win this race. Sneak attack, that's a little scary. It ain't. Yeah, that's actually probably, we should probably get rid of it now while we can. That's why you wait till you have five lands through that nonsense. Also, we can just play yeah, the like next turn. We have like no pressure on them. I don't know why they didn't wait. That's a yikes for me, dog. Oh, that's pretty good here. What? Why wouldn't they just destroy that sneak attack and sneak attack something to crush us? That's interesting. That's weird. I'm intrigued. Hmm. That's oh, they're just gonna random attack. Okay. That's fine. I mean, you can go. I mean, I'd rather play a Johnny and exile this, right? They're gonna uh, they kill a Johnny, I guess. Yeah, I'd rather have a Johnny live if we can. All right, well. Did they forget in here you can kill enchantments? Maybe they just might not have anything worth putting into play. I don't know, man. Not worth a one-time shot, you know, at least. One-time shot. Now they got rid of their Toxic Deluge. <laughs> Apparently we're on the same plan here. The decks are pretty similar. Okay, well, it's a lot of land here. I will take one Magister and put these on the Bodhi. The Bodhi of Medeki. One, two, three, activate. One, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five. If they play another land, they can tap everything and kill our Johnny, but. I like how they keep getting rid of the removal, so if we do it all our creatures, it's going to be sweet. They can make it a... 6-6. Six, six. Six, six. Oh, that sucks, yeah. If they sell it, yeah, they got it. That's rough. Man, I wish we had that murderous cut. We wouldn't be able to cast it. Oh, you're right. Dang. Hmm. 
That'll kill their mainland. Or it'll just kill their Nahiri. Right. It's probably kill their Nahiri. You might want a green mana there. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> uh, I guess so. One, two. They're getting pretty low, too. Yeah, you ain't, ro you ain't wrong. God dang it, I'm always tapping. Black and green. You did it. It was tough. We nailed it, though. Feeling pretty good right now. Yeah. Maybe. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I have 10 mana. They're just going to play big fat little mog, hard cast it. And we just help them with the Assassin's Trophy. I mean, that's annoying, but like, we're at 22. I'm just going to play this. What if they play this and name the good one? And then they get their Inferno Titan back. I guess we can wrath after that. <coughs> when I'm 64. They could actually just Chainer Z to target us. But then we play Magister and then they sack this. So I, I, it doesn't feel like we actually... It uh, doesn't feel like they have that many... Like they can only do one of these things. Or they can play like this and this. I don't know if this is great. Like they either just waste it and put nothing in there. They really want wrath, right? That'd be weird. They're going to play Magister. They're going to name uh, the one that gets their Inferno Titan back. Because the other mode gets returns all creatures, right? Mm -hmm. They're from all graveyards? or Yeah. Okay. Yep. So they get that back. They deal three. Eh. It wasn't that exciting. I mean, then we have Wrath in hand, so... Only we had the, do we have the mana? We do have the mana, right? For what? Oh, we can have a sit one, two, three, four. No, response. we're one shy. Oh, God, that's so frustrating. Oh, man. That would be sick. And we have the wrath here. Don't have enough. Dang it. That yeah, sucks. We don't have another white source. Can we bird alive here? Get rid of some. No, never mind. There's nothing I really don't. Like, we took out the Unis Prowler, so I think every every creature we draw is just good now. Okay. From Wall of Omens to uh, Masquerade. Which we took out. So I think, I think we have like a Leshnorn, Wall of Omens. Actually, someone brought Kalidus. it up earlier, but in this matchup, we probably should take out Bird Alive. It's probably not good at all. Yeah, well, it's game three, so. Yeah. God, one more mana, dude. Oh, man. One more White Source would have been gas. That would have been so good. But if they're trying to just to pump this guy and it's a lot though. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. We take nine. That's pretty brutal. Well, that shuts off their land forever. <laughs> I think we just wait and we can Avison. So we go one, two, three, activate, we're still one shy. That's so that also might kill them if we flash in Avison, especially if they just go for the land play. Flash in it and block. Yeah. Play Elshnorn. That's four, five, six. That nah, wouldn't be quite enough. I guess we'd be one shy. Yeah, but it still loses the Avacyn Elshnorn, so. They got rid of Damnation and Toxic Deluge. Damnation and a Toxic Deluge. But they are playing black, so they could still have a rule, I guess. Yeah, just go for the lethal on the... Choose one. You got it. Which one do they do? They're going to make us discard the buried alive. Okay. Can't get creatures, right? No. Okay. No, they can get the buried alive. This yeah. has been an interesting game. That was Burgard and Hellkite. Shield Rib. That's pretty good. I 
because we flash back edict. Um, you don't want to do that because we have to sack out a draft. Well, I would sack Shambling Vent. And then we'd attack for four. It would put them to th three. And then this would flip because the Shambling Vent died. Like I didn't use the, the actual shambling vent mana, shambling vent to tap it, tap itself. That was good. That would have been better. Why didn't you flip? Because it flips at the beginning of the next upkeep. Okay. So. And this trigger goes on the stack. Theirs goes on first because they're active player. And you take three. Woo! Got him. That was some good games, though. Avison uh, is a is a real card. <sighs> this is why I top aided Pro Tour, guys. <laughs> good that times. That was like one of the good times. Best games of Magic I've seen in a long time. I felt like we were never like no no player was really out of it at any point. That was pretty good. Played hard. Both both sides did actually play hard. I'm pretty sure Avacyn is a digital card. <laughs> this time. You wanna play first? Uh seems good. I like playing first. Unless you want to go for the cheeky. You know what? I'm gonna keep this because of all of them. Yeah, we uh, can just first turn this. I mean we have nine sources of black in the deck. Yeah, boy. Oh, wow. A gut shot joke. Too soon, buddy. Too soon. <laughs> Too soon, a.k.a. four years. <laughs> Got him. That's pretty good. Probably Inquisition first, right? Yeah, I'm thinking Inquisition just in case they have Rafelos. I don't want to be, like, getting a Rafelos tier. I forgot we had a Bayou. That's sick. Jitte, uh, let's explore. get rid of the Jit. <laughs> I think that's the only thing that I'm at. Oh, scavenging is pretty I good. think I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm more afraid of scavenging is here. Maybe not, though. Like, we can kill the scavenging is. The Jitte is hard to deal with. Yeah, I also, think the hand is very slow. They have Avenger, Explore, Primal Command, Link. Swamp gone. Explore gone. Swamp gone. Okay. Boring. It's wall, baby. You like that I played that land before? Uh, yeah, that was great. God, I'm really. I'm sure I'm just like, we're just gonna draw a tap land 100. percent It's 100 percent gonna be a shambling vent or something. Oh, no, that's okay. not. That's a thing. I mean, they have scavenging news, but they only have one forest so far. What up, Uzi? Hello, Uzi Vert. There it is. It was a fashionably late to the party. Now that we have three, four drops in hand, we might as well draw a shambling vent. Time walkie with the tap land sounds good. Thanks. Free little Uzi. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Does little does little Boofy know little Uzi? Do you know? Are they friends? All the Lils know each other. In the uh in the American penitentiary. The American penitentiary. That's where he is, right? What I like about this deck is we're not super reliant on the right. It's decks, cool if it happens, but like but and we don't need it. That's also another situation where like if they kill our Eleshnor and we can just get it back, so that's cool. Oh, look another another land. I mean, I think we want to draw lands. They missed the land drop, didn't they? Yeah, it was turn four, and they already played an extra from the explore. Have you started brewing bolus decks yet? Uh, you might be referring to the I don't I, I don't know maybe I mean uh, bolus decks. I started brewing a Niv Mizzet deck. Which is literally um, up on CoolStuffInc.com right now as we speak. And it went up yesterday, so you guys can check that out. And do me a favor and leave a comment on that article so that, so that I know you guys read it. And I know your thoughts. And I want to know your thoughts. I want to hear all the things that you guys think and, and believe. 
and I want you to tell them to me in the comment section so that we can have a good a good friendship. Oh, you're going to put that on top. That's fine because we can still play either one of these. So I'm glad we played the Kalidus because now we are still able to play both of these. A duplicant. Are you a duplicate? A duplicant or a duplicant? You put it on top, right? Yeah. Let me just draw it. I know, but my point is we can still play one of these. Oh, sure. Right. Oh, sure. Wow, sure. Wow. I like Elspeth here and then jump and slam. Or I could just play Seraph. I mean, they're going to exile this, I'm sure. But the thing is, if we play this and they exile either one, we still get to Elspeth and and hit with the other one, right? So, like, I think it's I think Seraph is a little better here. Whereas if they take this with Duplicate next turn and we have an Elspeth down, we don't actually have another creature to, to smash with. That's a good point. So you can't animate Dead Ajite, right? That'd be pretty sick. He could have a uh, Eternal Witness. You mean Eternal Witness? Yeah, Eternal Witness. Um, uh, wait, that doesn't get that doesn't get uh, that doesn't reanimate the Jite for us though. Oh, you for us? No, I yes, mean for I don't want. Why would I be sad that they can't do that? I didn't really pay attention. To I said animate dead. I literally said yeah, it's too bad we can't animate dead Jite. Gosh, yeah, I Michael. Really hear you. I just kind of heard what I wanted to hear. What if I have no thoughts? Well, that seems like a larger problem than than is contained in my my individual article. So, I I I, th I believe I'd let it slide in that situation, knowing that. Which one did they take? I think the Kalidus is better on board, but the Seraph has better stats for the duplicate. So, which makes them a four three. I mean, right, which means they can get past our Wall of Omens. But now we've definitely sure. given them a choice. Oh, they take the Seraph. You got it. Oh my god, really? Really? If we can draw land, land would be great. Let's take him to the Thunderdome. This is have life links, so this is pretty gross. That's six life six lifey boys. Also, Kalidus Beyond Ward is nice because no matter... Oh, they're just going to play Avenger next turn, aren't they? I guess we have a Leshnorn if we draw two two more lands in a row. We could also just hit and then hit again. That is lethal. Oh, they're going to play a five? A six drop instead. Oh, yeah. that's, that's, yep, pretty that's good. pretty good. Oh, they get to kill this and eat it. That's amazing. Very good, very good. Land. Yes. Nope. Are you going to counter this? Everybody was kung fu fighting. We do 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 do. Mike B was fast as lightning. I don't think there's anything in the world that could not describe me more as fast as lightning. Yeah, you're basically the turtle. <laughs> you're a, if a turtle was reincarnated as a human being, that's basically you. If a turtle and a sloth were in a, in a laboratory and their genes were spliced, and then they spliced them with a human being as well, that Michael would emerge. Am I turtly enough for the turtle club? Well, yes, it's a turtle club. What does that even mean? I was just referencing that movie. What movie? Uh, what's it called? It's that weird Dana Carvey movie. Oh my god, if we can just draw Wrath of God here, I'd be like... You'd be... You or maybe Master of Disguise, that's it. There you go. Why would you reference that? Are you going to attack this? And There's only one creature in the graveyard, and I can just easily block it, is what you're saying? Okay, sounds good. 
I appreciate your... Okay. Eat the one creature. Make it a 3-3. Three, three. Doesn't... It doesn't do anything, but I appreciate your, your tenacity here. Nope, they changed their mind. Okay. I wonder why they haven't slammed Avenger. I don't know, actually. They haven't seen her hand, right? <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, we're definitely doing that. Oh boy. The Avenger is actually terrible now. Basically does nothing. Slurtle Man. Oh my god, that's your name, dude. Oh, they're putting a charge counter on that? So the, so this guy just dies then? Cool. Whereas you could have made it a 3-3? Three, three? Uh, but... E, okay. Yeah, and now we can kill their Raska here, which is nice. I don't think we're going to get rid of a Johnny. I think we're just going to actually uh, plus. No, he makes useless. He makes useless? Yeah, his 2-2s two die automatically. Who's? Varaska's? No, the ones he gets from Master. Oh, yeah, he makes useless. Yeah. He makes one useless per turn. This is a, this is a solid turn, guys. <laughs> I'll take all. I will take all of them. Seems, Seems insane. Wow. Wow, dude. I'll draw Vraska Masquerum Avicen. Seems like a pretty good board state. <laughs> Jesus Christos is right, my dude. Well, he's got one turn to have a damnation or else the game's over. Even if they do, we have two planeswalkers and then in a grip of love. No, I'm just saying, in theory, he has one turn to draw. Oh, you mean he, he has one turn until he has to have, you know, until he finds the next damnation. Um, okay. That's pretty good. I still have an animate dead. Yeah, we can just get it back. Let's get another black here, I believe. Well, so we can, no, we need the black so we can cast Master Warner if we want to. Without another black, we can't do that. I guess that's true. I'm just worried about them destroying the bayou so that we don't have a way to, uh. What do you destroy it with? Acidic Slime? Uh, Woodfall Primus, man? Like, it's a green deck. What do you, Plow Under? I don't know, man. Name it. Oh, but actually, Plow Under doesn't destroy the land. It would just <laughs> put it on the top of your library so that... Plow Under, go ahead, sure. Okay, so they still haven't cast Avenger of Zendikar. I don't actually know what's going on. This is still in their hand, right? Last I checked. Am I missing something? I guess now that they know we have Massacre Worm, I don't see it happening, but all right. Yeah, actually, that'd be pretty bad for them to do. just die to that. Seems good. Oh, we drew the we drew a forest. That's great. My turn. Oh, they just they just They've like seen enough. like they knew we had this in hand, so they're like, I'm gonna wait till he casts it. Maybe they just never cast it, and then they'll be good. I kind of want this other day of judgment with their deck. Yeah, seems good. Like, even if you trade Day of Judgment for, like, Master of the Wild Hunt, or you just trade it for, like, the one Avenger of Zendikar, like, you just kind of need it. I kind of don't like Buried Alive. I kind of just want to draw the creatures and play them naturally, and if they die, then we'll reanimate them. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's fine. It's really slow. Stop being a little bee hole. We're totally dead. What? They mulligan to six, man. Yeah, but they're green decks. So they're gonna go fast. What are they like, Ricky Bobby? They're like Sonic the Hedgehog. Do 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 do. See, look how fast they're going. Watch, already. we're just gonna top deck Toxic Deluge. Damn it. Next turn. Next turn in the future. In theory, we top deck it after they. And we have three us. wrath effects, so I'm lying too. We also have Liliana, which kills their things. Like we have tons of removal. This deck is literally nothing but removal, man. Yeah, but I mean, you gotta draw it. They don't have a Rafellos. They do have a Corsair. Oh, it's probably a. It's Rattleclaw, Den Protector. Those are the two options. The tubeshins, if you will. They're gonna be all out of stuff to get. They're all out of stuff. 
Should have bombs. Um, nice. Some oh, library. library. So their hand is just master land. Why do they play library. I don't know, man. These are some bad choices. What's left in their hand? Master land. Okay. And the master is a bit of a problem. Not when we day of judgment. We have three. We, we have like a one in ten chance of hitting day of judgment, wrath of God, or uh, toxic. toxic. That's a great in theory, but uh, that is a great in we theory. We probably die before we can cast that. We'll see, won't we? <sighs> Taking five of us a turn. A little more now. What'd they get back? Oh, library. That's pretty good. Oh, it was a den protector. All right, here we go. Are you ready? It's going to be brutal. Mm, that blocks, at least. I mean, blocks. probably just going to shoot the thing and then kill it, but whatever. We need life. We need time. Oh, what up, Dimitri is not afraid? My name is Michael Bruples. And I live in the garbage can. Did you guys like that song I wrote about Michael Bruples? He lives in the garbage can. How's your, how's your leg back doing? Legs at a two. Two? So, yeah. That's basically nothing. I bet your default leg is one. Wait, she's going to die anyway? They're all going at her? Okay. We just saved us eight points of life. I probably would have attacked our face for nine if I was them, but... Maybe they don't like winning. I don't think they do. <laughs> Alright, they're dead. <laughs> Game's over. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three. And we can also be... animate dead their, their master. It's probably worth it. I guess we attack first, right? Why? Because well, if they block, who cares? But if they don't, we get a free point in. You sold me. These were the days we ate our biscuits in the morning. That was a good jam, actually. Yeah, they, do you didn't, remember, they didn't fall for it. Do you remember it. your biscuits in the morning song? <laughs> How could I forget? I forgot. Did you really forget? Yeah. <laughs> Chat remembers your songs more than you do, man. Toxic Deluge is not a real card. We just take Master's All on here. Bob. Seems better than not doing that. The funny thing is, if they went to our face last turn, we would have been at like four because we would have blocked a three. We would have taken three, four, five, six. We would have been at six, I guess. But then if we toxic damage for three, we're only at three. I guess we have an Elspeth then. I don't know. It still seems seems tricky. It's a tricky situation to navigate. One, two, three, four. If they play Avenger here and then we have Massacre Worm in hand. They're just dead. Woof. He's like the ace up our sleeve. I told you, this guy wins wins games, my bro. Yeah, that's pretty good. It's not bad. I like they don't get this back. That's nice. I'm glad that does not work that way. I'm glad this wasn't one of the days where they ate the biscuits in the morning. I'm tempted to attack this. Doesn't it plus two though? Yeah. But it also it's only two damage, so it doesn't really do anything, I guess. Yeah. Oof. Whiff. Literal whiffs. Can all be can all be hits, I guess. Come on, man, play that Avenger. You know you want to. Nebraska's so good. She's pretty good. Mike B won't only change. Oh god, what are they doing? Man, Toxic Dailies was good, and now it's like now they got that P Walker.
Oh, a Vivian Redo, huh? Okay, well, they're just drawing mono planeswalkers here. Seems good. Oh, they hit a forest. So really, ain't nobody got time for that situation. Yeah, Massacre Girl, Massacre, Massacre Girl seems sweet. It seems hard to uh, engineer a situation, though, where it's going to actually do a ton of damage. But if you do, huh? Huh, what? I mean, if, if, that, if it works out... There we go. Out. That's what we're talking about. That's good. That's much better. I like that. So, they can Vraska kill... Jesus. Nebraska can't kill planeswalkers, right? Mm, no. Okay. Okay, we just have to figure out how to navigate this. I'm pretty sure we can just go Avacyn during their turn. At the end of their turn. Well, we can do it anytime during their turn because she's going to get indestructible, which makes her invulnerable to both of these. Oh, true. So we'll just drop this Prowly boy. Michael B is living in the garbage can every day. Doot doot, Michael B. Doot doot. A doot 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 doot. Let's talk about your dad. I want to meet that dad. Yeah, you and me both. <laughs> that was like a. Hey man, next week. Yeah man. With a spark, and Avengers. It's a big. It's a good week. Oh, they're just looking at the top four, huh? Okay. So they played that. Did they whiff? Yeah, am I elder? <laughs> Joke's on you, buddy. That card's like making your, your deck worth one less. Worth one less? One mm -hmm. less what? Just, it just makes your deck worse. Just one less, you know what I'm saying. These are the days we had those biscuits in the morning. <laughs> oh, you like that song, do you? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Wash the spider out. Up came the rain and Michael B. Michael B. He ate his biscuits in the morning. Uh, sure. Well, I guess you got me. Now you don't have to rope the cave for our Liliana. Yeah, I guess that's true. Both their planeswalkers are on a on a, on a startling seven. Uh... Did you have them all at seven? I think you're. Oh my God, are they gonna tap out for some? <gasps> Wait, what? Why did they? Interesting choice. <laughs> that um, must have been a misclick. Well, because now we can massacre them. We kill this, and they can't activate it. Seems good. So we do we Aleshnorn or do we Mascorm here? I think we Mascorm here. One, two, three, four, five. Seems like Mascorm to me. If they take six, we could also just go face. Doesn't Vraska ult though? No, Vraska ults at ten, and we're gonna we're gonna go to to face. The problem is this would put her down to seven. Or she'll put it on a three, so then actually, and then, like they could Vivian Reed to kill this and then this to kill the mask for him. Yeah. Which is pretty good. So I almost like a Leshnorn despite the damage and just going at Vraska here. I mean, I kind of like the damage, but. I mean, I like the damage a lot, obviously. But I want to be able to kill this Vraska. Or make sure she can't kill one of these, I guess. And then yeah. even if they Vivian Reed and kill Avacyn, that's, that's fine. Either way, one of our creatures is dying. This just makes it so not both of them are dying. Which seems better. I agree. That does seem better. Oh, I forgot they had Library out, man. God, that card's been crushing. It's pretty good.
just gonna have six I got no responses here so Yep, that is what I figured you'd do. And they made a guy that died immediately. Sounds good. They played a forest, so that's gone. Down came the rain and washed the Michael out. So I definitely kill Graski here. I think both also seems good. Well, they have a treetop village that can block. That's true. So I'd rather send them both to Nebraska. Yeah. Or she dies. And you know what they say, man. If they if she dies, she dies. Did they just concede. Oh wow. Nice. I had no idea. What would we fit with the Ajani? Land, reanimate. Day of Judgment. So no hits. We would have just whiffed. So we would have been able to, we would have played Wall of Omens, which would have drawn us Wrath of God. Okay. Either way, this deck is killing it so far. Literally, because it's a full-on removal deck. You know what they say, man. Look, I got this new, this new Uber, Uber card. Why? Because it's got really good perks. Like what? Uh, four percent back on all restaurant purchases. Four percent back on all. That's really good. Yeah, two percent back on all online purchases. So any online purchase I make, like bills I pay, I get 2% cash back, so. It's pretty good. I know. That's why I got it, Michael. Down came the rain and washed the Michael out. You like this song I'm singing? It's about you, Michael. Wow. Got him right in his stupid nose. Um, hmm. I want to keep this hand. I mean, it's got Grammy and Anime Dead and an outlet, so. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Don't worry, Mike. Your nose isn't stupid. Don't lie to him. How dare you? How dare you? Thanked. Wrecked. Are you talking to your mommy? Yeah. Wow. I was just kidding. Do they deliver that 2% milk to door after every online purchase? Then you have to pick it up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they deliver it. So it's 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 a it's a really good deal if you like if you're going to buy like five things on Amazon, just buy each one separately. And then you get a uh you get some two percent milk with each one. Which is a pretty good deal. Didn't make sense not to live for wow. fun. Your brain gets smart while your nose gets dumb. That is definitely too much milk. I agree with you. If I could get... I want you in the microphone. <laughs> uh, I love it. I love it. Thank oh, you. dang it. He almost made me skip past my turn. No, I think you just have a tendency to do that. I hate you. Philip, thank you so much for the resale, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back to the internet. I'll be your host. Mm. Don't snap at me. I'm not snapping at you. I'm giving you some rhythm. Oh, thank you. You want to see my jazz hands? Not really, but you're going to do it anyway. Are 
Feeling like that? It was alright. It was very good. Don't be a hater. I said it was alright. Calm down. Was I... Was I too out of control? Yeah. <coughs> oh, oh, Matt. Off of planes? Aggro. I like Massacre Worm here. <laughs> Seems good. I do too. I do too. And that guy's going to be a bit of a blow. Also, Kalidus as well. Both of these creatures are very, very good against this deck. Whatever it may be. I mean, it's sort of bow and curious. So it's got to be aggro, right? I would assume so, yes. Why does Mike look like that? Like what? That's just how he looks. Don't make it weird. I'm not going to block. I don't oh, know. You don't want to trade a 3 1 for a 1 1? I don't. You're crazy. I hope they play 2 1 drops. That's not, that's not either of the things I wanted. I'm tempted to just reanimate this Kalidus, actually. What? Why? Because if we massacre him, we're going to get a shit ton of guys to turn after that. Hmm. Me like. So we can go reanimate Kali Toss. And now, this is the greatest show on earth. Moochels are nocturnal creatures by nature. That's true. So for tomorrow. Mike has to go to physical therapy tomorrow at like 7 a.m. 8.30. Oh, that's so much better. Well, they want to be there between 8.30 and 9. Is your mom picking up? How are you getting there? Are you driving? Driving, dog. God, you're so you're so grown up. I want you to know that I loved you, but it didn't matter because your guys died and I got zombos and you took four. Boom, 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 boom. I feel like we're ahead here. I'm no expert at Magic the Gathering. What if they're a weird aggro deck that plays Wrath? Does Mike know there's an 0830? No, I don't even know. I haven't seen an 0830 in years. If they're an aggro deck that plays Wrath, well, got I them. guess they got us. I don't feel like it, though. If they don't have Wrath, I don't know what they could conceivably play here. Clearly, this is a replacement effect, so they don't take the damage from Warm. Dang it! This is bullshit. This game is rigged. I guess it doesn't matter. I guess they didn't have it. I mean, I'd rather get two two zombies. Those are just long term two damages, right? Long term boys. Okay. Definitely bringing in all the stuff. <laughs> I think we're definitely bringing in this. Yeah. I like I, Edict. I like Edict too because their their creatures are small, but they're not like going wide. They're just making all their creatures are like efficient ground guys, ground boys, groundy boys. Let's see what we can take out here. Very Live has been not great here. Mm -hmm. I'll just be hard casting these dudes way before. What else? What Elves? We're still not playing What Elves, Michael. I said What Elves. Yeah, I said What Elves. I know. I get it, man. Uh, I said the What Elves. Expensive. What is? Marshall Coup. I agree with that. That seems good. Let's do that. Okay. I actually have my alarm set every day for noon thirty, and I end up going to bed around four thirty-five. So, go to around bed around four thirty-five. Wake up about twelve thirty. Start the stream around two. Your stream froze for me, and you were making your thinking face, and I was very confused about what you're thinking. It was probably a while. I was probably thinking for a long time. Also, big news today. I actually. Uh, 
I'm not sure if I can announce it, but I can't. I, I, I signed the contract, so I guess I can. I actually signed a contract for uh, for a team today, so that was pretty sweet. Team Fade 2 Karma. Uh, I'm going to keep this hand, I believe. It's slow, but I think Liliana does some work here. So that's pretty sweet. So I'm going to go over the onboarding process this Saturday, actually. I'm going to get all the deets and stuff. The debts. Yeah, the debts. What sports ball are you playing? I'm going to play the... Uh... I can't think of anything funny here. Did Spectrum come fix your internet today too? That was yesterday, but they're also coming again tomorrow uh, because it did the same thing yesterday night. So I was like, okay, well, it's still having the same problem. So, And I've been watching it tonight to make sure it's not doing it again. We've only been streaming for an hour and 16 minutes. This has been, it feels like longer, doesn't it? No, we've been crushing it. Okay, well, I'm sorry, Michael. I didn't mean to, I didn't mean to offend you, okay? I'm so sorry. Unis Prowler. Yeah, that's okay. Next time we just Liliana, Liliana, Liliana of the Last Hope. Lily, 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 Lily. Oh. The team is me and Frank are going to be on a team. We'll be playing Hearthstone and not really in tournaments. Pretty much just sitting around in custom jerseys that have our names on them. It's going to be a good team. Yeah, me and Chris are. Uh, it's uh, it's going to be a big thing. You guys are you guys are going to have to wait. It's going to take off though. You know, for an aggro deck, I don't feel very threatened. I also feel like Liliana is like, come at me, bros. Yeah, she seems pretty good here. Why did we not just discard a Lesh Norn and reanimate it on turn two? I hate that. I hate doing that stuff because it just it puts you in a good position if you're like incredibly lucky. But if they have one removal spell, you're just way far. You're like, oh, okay, well. I mean, they're playing white, so they like they could easily have a path or swords or any number of things like that. They have three cards. Are these going to be better? I guess we'll find out next time on Dragon Ball Z. Do you remember that show, Dragon Ball Z? Man, that show was crazy, it? right? You wouldn't even know about it. it wasn't for me. How dare you? I'm just kidding, but I did convince you to watch it. Buddy, I had I used to have a truck that had Dragon Ball Z stickers on the back of it. When I worked at I worked at Hot Topic actually, and that's where I got the the I stickers. I said you never watched Dragon Ball Z until recently. I lied to you. Wow. I never watched all of it until recently. Like I never watched oh, the watched story all the way through. Oh, yeah, okay. I always watched. I watched episodes here and there, and I enjoyed it when I saw it. By the way, I think the uh, they finished up the rest of the Dragon Ball Z stuff for Kai. That would be nice. So you because I have no it. idea. I'd, I'd probably even need to re rewatch it though, just because I don't know where it left off. You know, it's not that long. That's what she said. I'd also rewatch it with you. That's what she said. Got him. Wow. Got him. You and Michael watched all of DBZ without me. <laughs> No. Day of Judgment. Missing Quaggles? Okay. Well, we're just going to play uh, this lady. Yes. We can reanimate their Hero of Bladehold? Holy smokes. Could. This seems pretty good, actually. Also blocks everything really efficiently. They have two cards in hand? That seems real good. Yes, I almost have. actually just want to kill this, to be quite honest. Can we still do that? No, with Murderous Cut. How can we do that? Well, we re reanimate, right, for one. Right. And then we play a land. One, two, three. Oh, God, you're right. Yeah. Delve Dog. <laughs> you know about that. Uh, apparently not much. Because if we don't actually kill... Well, no, they couldn't activate this, right? Not right now, they can't. Uh, attack with three or more. Well, because they're making another guy, and they're attacking with that, too, right? So. Yeah, just kill it now. That feels like we're in a good position. <laughs> I feel okay about this. It also leaves us allowed to play Elspeth and Hissing Quagmire next turn, so. All right. Travis, are we going to win with this 3-0 deck? Are we going to 3-0 with this this removal deck? A 3-0 with the stip is a, is, a rare, is a rare juicy. It's a rare juicy. <laughs> Hashtag rare juicy, guys. Okay, this guy just dies to Lil, which is nice.
the good thing about playing against the white deck is if they get rid of your reanimation target, like if you reanimate one of their guys and they get rid of it, there's no way they're going to get it back. Like, not, oh, dang it. I would have probably killed... No, I don't know, man. Probably would have killed... This card is just bonkers. I think we just slam Elspeth and face him. <sighs> yeah, 100. Um, I'm going to make a guy because I want to have blockers. Because otherwise Elspeth goes to 5 and she probably just dies. And also they have wind, wind brisk heights. Actually, maybe we don't Elspeth. Maybe we just exile this guy because of wind brisk heights. Mm. Let's see how they block. Don't do it wrong. Click battle cry first. I always have to. It's a. It's a saying. Click battle cry first. That's what you got to do. Yeah, I kind of just want to get rid of this. I don't want them to go swing three when brisk height something ridiculous. Also, it flips this too. So. Yeah, a good point. I mean, we take six if they activate this guy and smash, but three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14? Okay, so we actually, if they do that, if they just smash with this guy, we just win. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. It's exactly. We also have Avacyn if they crack over next turn. Torn. I have read Norn, and I'm like, if they crack over next turn. Well, unfortunately, we only have five lands, so we're two turns away from a Lesh Norn here, but. Oh, are we going to win? Oh, they're going to attack with everything, then they're going to flip it anyway. Oh my god, they're going to kill us. This is no good. Watch, they have a lightning bolt or an incinerate under here, and they're just going to shoot us in the face for the last three points. And we're going to regret everything. Here we go. It was not a bolt, though. Hmm. Okay. Can you imagine how good Massacre Room would be if we had one more? One more thing. Um, Penalar can make things unblockable, right? She can make one thing unblockable, yeah. Any one thing? Yeah, tar uh, target creature can't block this. Oh, can't block this turn. No, it, it makes the creature unable to block. Hmm. I think we just path with Avacyn up. Yeah, that's probably pretty good, actually. Um, we can actually attack with this, and then we have one fewer creatures, but we still get two more bodies on the board. I think that's we probably three, better. Though. Yeah, we have three blockers, and they have one, two, three, four, five creatures. So two would get through. They could also sack it and make Avacyn able to block, I guess. But then we have, we go block, block, and then we still take two. I think that's, I think that should be fine. Like, I want to make sure we have pressure on the board. They also have to almost tap out to activate this, too, if they want to attack with it, so. Oh, they could sack this, though. Oh, that's pretty good. Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah, it's any artifact. Shut up. Don't say anything. Oh, she can pump Thopter, but we have a... I mean, we have an Avacyn... I don't know if you guys knew this, but Avacyn has flying. She can block a Thopter. Let the bodies hit the board. Oh god, don't do it. Don't know this. 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 Don't notice. Don't notice it. Don't see it. The line is there, but you can't really see it. Don't see it. <sighs> Solid. Yep. Yep. That sucks. Close match. Well, it's only game two. Game, whatever. You know what I meant. Uh... I didn't because it also it, it sounded like yeah. that's what you sound like is it um 
Is Jid just worth it? I was thinking. I was literally thinking it. Like, Especially get, against them. Like, you get like, any creature through. Like, just getting in a little bit of life. I want to bring Drana in to get the anguish I'm making. I want to bring Jit in. I like that. Do any other cheap creature. <laughs> just bring in Seder Wayfinder or Legion's Landing just to put a Jit on it. I actually don't hate Legion Landing. I mean, it's a lifelink blocker. I agree with that. We just got a Johnny. I yeah. like that. These are all good. Just play like this. Yeah, I'm fine with it. Man, every creature they have is an X1, so, you know, it was always Jitte. Like you do. Plus, they haven't seen it in either of the games, so I doubt they'll expect it. No one ever expects the Spanish Inquisition. Jitchen. <laughs> Buddy, you heard me. You going Jitchen tonight? Buddy, I go Jitchen every night. Oh, gosh, dang. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Are you? I think Edix is still fine. Man, you give us up early? Yeah, maybe it's fine. I think I might have myself a little lunch. Lunch? Yeah. What does that mean? When I get up. Tomorrow? Yeah. You're getting up at like 7. You're going to have lunch at 7, man. <laughs> no, you're right. Unbelievable. Like on your way home, you mean? Yeah. Where are you going to have lunch at? Probably the sushi place. Are you? you going to get that all-you-can-eat sushi? I'll keep this hand. At worst, we put it on a Kalidus. Yeah, we have a cut too. We ha we do have a cut. Wish we had a fetch land. I wish we had uh, Unus Prowler to put this on. That'd be pretty good. We can draw it. We can draw lots of things. No Bomat, no Bomat, no Bomat, no Bomat. Oh, wow, that's actually a little more terrifying. Really? We got a murderous cut. This guy doesn't do anything for like 10 turns. You say that now, buddy. Until they have... A card that's not in the cube to protect it. I have no idea what you're saying right now. You know, one of those white spells that gives something protection. Oh, like a Brave the Elements? That's a good one. That is actually a very that's good one. one. Of the better ones. Yeah, yeah, that one's real good. That one's one that come back. Yeah, I like Sky Sovereign too. I just don't think we'd ever be able to crew it. Maybe all these that? Percocets can help Mike reset his circadian rhythm. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so, man. Drana, Drana, Drana. D -d 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 Drana. Come on, Daddy needs a Drana. Oh, that'll do. It doesn't kill it, though. Yes, Michael, I'm aware it doesn't kill it. Just don't let me play it, though, right? The problem is we can't play Kalidus next turn if we do, right? But, I mean, they'd have to commit all three of their things to this. Yeah, I think it's still good. Because it makes it an 0-1. And they have to, like, pay 3 to make it a 4-4, which only deals 2 to Liliana. And that's their turn. Is that Conley Woods behind you? Man, I never heard that one before. Real original, buddy. S solid. <laughs> solid question. Also, we... Just to be clear, we look nothing alike now. Yeah. It's true. Now they're like, do I pump this and attack the Lily? Or do I just leave it in 01 and play something new? They're going to play a Thalia. The power is yours. Is it? Is it yours? Is it mine? Ooh, they played something new. Toxic Village. <laughs> <laughs> Boy. Nice Do we get greedy now? Because they'll start drawing cards. Such value. Put them in the trash can. <laughs> I feel like this game is over. What gave it away? The Jitte, the Liliana, or the Kalidus that's coming down? Oh, that's okay. 
I mean, I always kill the goblin, and then I can... Oh, that's just a target. Hmm. I guess I get to deal two to it. Sure. I'll allow it. If we hit a land, can we do anything special? No, I guess not. You got it. I think we just murderous cut this dude and kill one of the other, kill the Bomag Courier. You don't want to slam Cletus? Oh, uh, one, two, three, four. Dang it. Wait, what if we what if we reanimate Mentor of the Meek, play Legion's Landing, draw a card? How much can we do here? Reanimate for a black. Play Legion's Landing, play one to draw a card. What if we do, what if we kill this and then reanimate it and then attack them and equip with Jitte? Like, if they don't block, we just kill this. If they block... That's hilarious. That's actual hilarious. Hmm. That's an interesting line. Reanimate Mentor with Meath costs one. We Legion's Landing cost two. And then we have Land, Land, Deluge, Reanimate in the Graveyard. So we'd be one shy of cutting this. I think this is I think this line is great. I mean if they block, cool. If they don't block, they lose their Legion Orboss anyway, so. They're pretty much forced to block here. Yeah, this is great. And now we just get to wipe the board again. And then we get to play Legion's Landing. Yeah, that was a pretty gross turn. Which is comical with the Jitte. This is hilarious, dude. This is amazing. Y'all got any more of them Jitte's? She don't have haste? That's too bad. Was she gonna get cut? <laughs> That's also good. That's also better because then we can equip Jit Soul Attack. Well, we can do that. No, we're one shy, aren't we? Yeah. I'd rather attack with a jit, right? Oh, for sure. It's funny because it actually lets us keep Murderous Cup up. So, no, it doesn't because we're nice. jitting. Yeah. That's my bad. I keep wanting to get this Kalidus in play before we kill all these things, but we don't really have the luxury of doing it. They do have three cards in hand. Four cards in hand. Wait, did they just have six their turn accidentally? I think they might have. Uh-oh. It's such an awkward situation that happens because you can't really, like, not do anything. You can't just be like, oh, I'll give it back to you. Yeah, it's not like a real game. Although I don't know how in real life you accidentally pass your turn. Right, I'm just saying there's no real way to avoid it on here. Like, yeah. if it happens, it happens, and it sucks. But, like... There's no way for me to 100% know that you did that, or maybe you drew nothing and had no plays. Like, see, so you have plays now, so. Oh, yes. Uh, what do we got? One, two, three white sources, three green sources, Four three black blacks. Sources. Three black sources. Probably white. Huh? I'm going to get a black. One. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. They're all eight. Seven. Getting there. Getting juicy. What was the hashtag? <laughs> I don't remember. Uh, something juicy, guys? Can someone re re kind of I think you passed it. Really? Rare juicy. Yeah, that guy's dead. Unless they go swords here. Even then, they're still dead. And we have an Umazawa Jute, so I'm not really like... I ain't sweating it, man. Give me that Zombone. Didn't you just save him? No, because it's not equipped. Equipped oh, so creature gets plus two, plus oh, two. Okay. That'd be gas. You don't know Kalidus. You don't know what he's been through. Kalidai? God, Umazawa Jitte is just a ridiculous magic card. I will uh, kill your creature in response. I'm fully on it. That seems better. Oh, yeah, for sure. I'm just saying, no, I'm talking about the... You might as well. 
I'm going to put it on here because if they have like a lightning bolt that they want to get rid of. Right. That makes sense. Which they kind of did. Okay, so just to be clear, Liliana is going to ultimate next turn. And they have no cards in hand. <laughs> and we have a murderous cut. So and Jite and equipped and a guy and two main lands. This is what's like to got him, guys. This is what this is what a got him feels like. Y'all got any more of them got be, I don't know what you could draw here. They can draw. There's no card you can draw. Inferno Titan, maybe, just to shoot the Liliana. But even then, like, we just have murderous cut. cut. Yeah, and they just die. Well, they don't just die, but... No, they pretty much die. Okay. Yeah, because Liliana's still on the board, so... Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate it. Send us like and subscribe and check me out on Twitch. Check me out on Patreon. Check me out on Manatraders.com. If you subscribe to any of their services, you get 20% off the first three months with the link and promo code in the description. Unease Joker, as always, thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. This is an awesome stipulation. Hopefully, we uh, we stuck true to it. You can also check out MeUndies.com slash Frank Lepore. You'll get 15% off along with free shipping and free returns. So check out all those links. They're all in the description below, and they're great ways to support the channel if you guys are interested in doing so. And uh, if you're watching on Twitch, as usual, I'm not leaving. But if you're watching on YouTube, slam those like and subscribe buttons. I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.